everything's just absorbing all of that rain, which is now aimed squarely at Southern California. Let's take a look at the big picture perspective. The heavy rain has moved away from the Bay Area. Still a few showers on first alert Doppler hitting the Santa Cruz Mountains, but there is all the moisture surging into the southern part of the state. We're eventually going to see another atmospheric river headed our way, but it's not going to happen over the weekend. Let's take a look at first alert Doppler and the loop over the last couple hours. If you look very carefully at Santa Cruz County. You can see just a few little flickers there indicating a few additional sprinkles and maybe a couple of showers and a little bit showing up showing up offshore as well. That's where we have the best chance of rain as we head through this evening. Futurecast is trying to give us all a chance of showers. I think this evening they're going to be pretty few and far between. Same thing to start the day tomorrow. There's a chance at any point over the weekend of a passing shower, so be very flexible with outdoor plans, have an indoor alternative, just be ready to adjust. But the best chance of rain is going to shape up by mid to late afternoon into evening on Saturday. That moves through and then another pretty good chance of showers, not a guarantee, is going to happen late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. That moves out and then we're back into that off and on shower pattern as we head through the rest of the second half of the weekend. Adding up the rain over the weekend, it's not going to be a lot in most locations, a quarter inch to a half inch and even as wet as things are because it's going to happen with plenty of breaks in between the ground can absorb that. The place where we're concerned is just a little bit too much in Santa Cruz Mountains, maybe more than an inch of additional rain in Ben Lomond, and they've already picked up over five and a half inches of rain with this latest atmospheric river. In the Sierra, it's still a snowmaker, and the winter storm warning continues all the way through 10 a.m. Sunday, the heaviest accumulations above 8,000 feet in elevation, so way up there, but two to four feet of snow above 6,500 feet, about lake level at Tahoe, and wind gusts are going to be around 75 miles an hour. So even though the snow line is pretty high right now, it's going to be dropping down steadily as we head through the weekend, so travel is still strongly discouraged, difficult to impossible travel conditions, and there's more in store for us. Here's our atmospheric river scale, and so how we rank these systems and the one that came through yesterday was an AR3 on the one to five scale, which ranks as a moderate atmospheric river, but on the, the high end of that category. The next one that moves through, it's going to be a little lower. Now the showers over the weekend, not associated with an atmospheric river at all, but the one that comes in Monday night into Tuesday, that looks like it's going to be an AR2. Generally weak, but on the high end of that weak category, which means as, as saturated as the ground is, even a weak atmospheric river can lead to more flooding problems and the potential for more wind damage. And the Weather Prediction Center has already outlined pretty much the entire Bay Area in a what they categorize as a slight risk of excessive rainfall. It means that we're likely to have more flood warnings. It remains to be seen exactly how the atmosphere is going to tap into that plume of moisture and how much is going to get squeezed out directly overhead. This might get upgraded to a moderate risk, and we'll keep you updated as that next system approaches. For now, it's just nice to see some sunshine. Temperatures topped out today in the mid to upper 50s to around 60 degrees. At the moment, everybody's in the 50s, from 50 in Petaluma to 59 degrees in Concord and in Fairfield. It was nice to see some 60s on the map earlier today. We'll see a few more of those tomorrow after a morning of nearly normal low temperatures. Everybody starting off in the 40s will warm up to a mix of mid to upper 50s and some low 60s. Everyone's high temperatures below average, but at least closer than we were last weekend. Temperatures aren't going to change much over the next seven days, and the rain chances, well, there are plenty of them, but there's really just one time frame that's a distinct concern. That is Monday night into Tuesday. It's why two Tuesday is highlighted as an alert day already. Does look like we'll dry out for a day on Thursday before some showers try to pay us a visit for St. Patrick's Day on Friday. There may actually be some real rainbows in the sky for St. Patrick's Day, which is nice when that lines up. But really, at this point, we could use a several day stretch from the rain. We'll keep looking for that.